Ihnen. Assalamu alaikum. Apanara Kemonia Chen. Thank you. I had some great teachers yesterday to teach me this. I see a lot of hungry faces here. You are hungry for success. I see that. But I want to share you the dark side of success. I don't want to discourage you, but you need to know that. In the Western countries, we are suffering a lot from depression and fear, from anger. In the US, 22 millions of people take antidepressant medication, they need sleep pills, they need painkillers, and it comes all from when you're not following your purpose. As Livia said before, follow your purpose. You need to know who you are, what you're doing. Every fourth, every fourth person in Germany is suffering from depressive symptoms. Where does it come from? You have to take care for yourself. I'm not just praying here or, or some th telling something which I'm not experienced this. I, had a, I was leading a business making eight-figure dollar income per year with about 40-45% net profit and I paid my price. I lost my family, I lost my income, I lost everything I had, and I was in a depression. I know how it feels. That's what the reason why I'm here, and that's the reason why I'm telling you. Because I don't want anybody to suffer like I did. I want to potentially save your life and your families. Because if you're only heading for success, if you're only heading for money, at a certain point of the time, you might lose yourself. So, what's my message? You first, you have to take responsibility for your life. Responsibility for your life means you know not only who you are, but what you want in life. And I want to show you a little metaphor. Your life is like my watch. It's a Swiss watch, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, this watch reminds me, it reminds me of what my father did. My father was also very materialistic. He was an immigrant. And for him, this was important because money was always a concern. Today, he is suffering very, fa very hard. So I don't want to, to go the same way he did. The backside of my watch is transparent. It reminds me to always look at myself because in your life, you are like every little piece of that watch. If you think business or whatever you have in your life is different from your life, then you're wrong. Because you're part, not only part of that. I don't think that you know, this balancing of life, business life, uh, uh, profession and so on is right. Because you are the life. You only have one life. And if one piece of this watch doesn't work anymore, the whole watch doesn't work anymore. That's what we face in the Western countries. So you should be aware of that. You know? Then I have the big digit, the second digit. It shows me that I'm only in competition with myself. If I want to be better than somebody else, I'm comparing me, myself, with somebody else who I never can be. You have to find your own way. I see a lot of students here. I've talked to a lot of students, some friends here, and I see that you want to achieve something. It's okay to have a first job. It's okay to earn your first money. It's important to feel from the heart where you want to go from. And remember, your life is like that watch. Your life is just unique. You all are unique. You all have only one life. So always remember, if one part, one piece of your life is not working, you are getting sick. So take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Take care of your health. Because of the, at the end of your life, you might ask yourself, what did you achieve? But you won't. At the end of your life, the, mo the four, five most, most regrets at the end of your life, well, let's say the, least, the, the three is did I take care of my health? Did I take care of my family and my friends? It's not how much you achieved, how many millions or not millions, how many companies you created. It's 
possibly how many people you impacted. It's possibly what you reached in life. It's possibly something which was coming from your heart. And I want to just to, to make a connection. As Olivia said, it's the purpose. If it is coming from your heart and you feel okay with what you're doing from your heart, then you're on the right track. If your feeling is something like, something doesn't work, trust your feelings. Second, so the second point is not only um, take full responsibility for your life, but also find a purpose in your life. For a lot of people, that's quite difficult, especially also in here, because you have infinite possibilities, but you also do not see where is your future leading. But that's normal. We all have that. Sometimes we, s we are still in that process. At the end of your life, you connect the dots, and then you see the road. And there's another point. A lot of us struggle. We have anger, or we have emotional issues. You have to get rid of that virus in yourself that is holding you back. This morning, I heard some students asking for, yo, what can the, what can the country do? What can the government do? What, what can the industry do? It's up to you, every one of you. One single person can change the world, but not by waiting for what is the government doing or what is the industry doing. It's up to you. It's your life. And it's your heart. When you're coming from the heart, you're always on the right track. Always. I can tell you that. So listen to your heart. Listen to your gut feeling. It's okay for a certain time when you do something which is not completely your purpose. It's like if I sending somebody to Canada and say, listen, start to, you know, to hack the, the trees. And he is asking, yeah, where shall I begin? And that's the point where you are. You're like that guy standing in the middle of a forest and he doesn't know where to begin. It doesn't matter. Start somewhere. Get experience. Because that experience will be part of your life. Nobody can take that away from you. That's one thing that my father learned me. And he was right. He was right when I lost my marriage, when I lost my family, when I lost everything. Everything which I had in my head, every, all experiences, I could get back because they were my resources. I had to scratch two times, I had to, to begin two times from scratch. And I did it because I had it in the mind, it was the mindset. As you heard yesterday, as you heard before from Livia. So what's the most important thing in your life? What's the most important thing that distinguishes you from others? What's the right mindset? What is the right mindset? It's attitude. But an attitude that's, that is coming directly from the heart. I thank you for your listening. All right, thank you, Christian. And our next